Welcome. I'm Rick Negrin, VP of Product Management here at MemSQL, and I'm here to tell you about what's new in MemSQL 7.1. This is the latest version of the MemSQL database engine, the database of now. The core engine is shared between MemSQL Helios, our managed cloud service, and MemSQL software, our self-managed offering, which you can run anywhere you like. Let's walk through a few of the new exciting features in MemSQL 7.1. The most exciting innovation happening in MemSQL is single store. The idea of single store is pretty simple. Today, MemSQL offers what I call dual store. What that means is you can create a table and choose either to be row-oriented or column-oriented. This is great for developers as they choose at design time which type of table they want, and they can mix and match as needed by the application. However, sometimes customers don't know all the requirements up front, or the requirements change after the app is deployed. Plus, making the trade-offs between two different technologies can be tricky. Single store combines the scalability benefits of column store with the speed of in-memory row stores. The aim of the technology is to support both real-time analytics and operational applications in a single table type. You just create the table and MemSQL handles the hard choices under the covers to deliver you great performance and low total cost of ownership. MemSQL's single store technology is being delivered as a suite of new features over several releases, evolving the current column store until it becomes single store. New single store features in 7.1 include broader support for hash indexes and allowing unique keys. We've also made investments in resilience. Now, MemSQL has always supported several features to keep the system highly available. One of the key features is database replication, which allows a customer to replicate a database to another geographic location in order to survive a disaster that takes out a cluster or even a whole data center. In MemSQL 7.1, we are adding fast failback. This supports the use case of a control failover, which is useful for doing things like an application upgrade. We use a differential approach to reduce the amount of data needed to bring the original database back up to date, making the failback operation fast and easy. We're also making it even easier to migrate applications to MemSQL. We've always been wire protocol compatible to MySQL, making it easy to move your applications from legacy databases to MemSQL. With MemSQL 7.1, we're adding even more industry standard functions, such as transforming results into JSON, converting arrays to tables, a new syntax for easily selecting into variables, and a whole lot more. Each of these features allows you to more easily port your legacy systems to MemSQL's faster, scalable, and more modern SQL database. And last but not least is backup, everybody's favorite operation. MemSQL's had a backup command for a very long time, but in 7.1, we added the ability to do incremental backups, allowing you to take backups more often. And new in MemSQL 7.1, you can do a differential backup to Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, or Google Cloud Storage, in addition to doing local backups. We also have a command line tool for running backup, making it even easier to script on the command line instead of using SQL commands. These are just a few of the new features you'll get when you upgrade to MemSQL 7.1. For a full list of features, see the MemSQL 7.1 blog post or the release notes on memsql.com.